Hi guys, welcome and welcome back. See your soul three with me, Lee. This is going to be a general message for Gemini. Let's get into it. All right, show me spirit. Hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe, comment, share, follow. Show me for Gemini. What's Gemini's energy today, spirit? Show me. Ooh. Eight of Swords. You came out in your own reading, Gems. Show me what the situation is for Gemini. Oh, okay. Why is Gemini in the Eight of Swords? Okay. I get it. Gemini, right now, your energy is the Eight of Swords. You're over-intellectualizing something. You um, might be thinking something may be too good to be true because the situation is the Ten of Cups, period. When I asked why you're feeling that way, why you're feeling in your head and over-intellectualizing, it's showing the Page of Wands to justice. So it's like you're getting something that you've wanted in a relationship or whatever the ten of cups is for you it's different for everyone for some it's a husband for some it's a wife for some it's kids for some it's a house white picket fence dog cat kids it's right for others it is um independence financial freedom career taking on you know it's going to be different for everyone but whatever your ten of cups is for you you're here. You're at it. That's where you're at. Um, and the reason that you're over intellectualizing is because it's like, holy shit, like I'm feeling this more in a relationship type way. But certainly this could be um, any of the ways that I had mentioned before, you know, your own story. But you are getting this is like your reward for the things that you have overcome and the things that you've went through in your life. It's like, up to this point, maybe a lot of things in relationships were a struggle because you were meeting the same energy in different bodies. Maybe, you know, it's something like that, right? Or if this is a work thing, this was dealing with toxic work environments, micromanaging bosses that, um, you know, they just have no life. Um, and they just take out their uh, negative emotions and bullshit on you, right? That could be. If this was a family thing, this could be, you know, your family um, getting in the way of your happiness, right? And, it, it, and now it's like you've moved out of all those obstacles, you've moved all those out of your way, and you're somehow here, right? Ten of Cups. But you're over-intellectualizing it, and you're like, whoa, this is too good to be true. Nope, this is your reward. This is your reward for not settling for less, for not settling for the mediocre, for not being a yes man, a no, a, a yes man, and a yes woman, right? For standing up for yourself and what you believe in and not taking, um, you know, and also understanding that others' projections are there. It's their own insecurities coming out, but you've removed yourself from a lot of these different situations. And now what's left when we move ourselves out of bullshit, out of filth, out of situations that just don't serve us, out of dead end jobs that really we can't go anywhere with, right? Like no room to grow. Like when we move ourselves out of those things and like just keep it pedaling, keep it moving and we run into what we want because we're now we're, we're we've already decided what we don't want because we've been through it. And we're like, ew, gross. I thought this was good, but when I took a closer look, it's like that, guys. So, Gemini, the overall energy is the magician. You manifested this. What I mean by manifest is you pictured in your mind. Maybe you wrote it down as well. Um, what you wanted. And then you didn't settle for that. You made that happen for yourself. And that's manifestation. When we see what we want and we make it happen, we're manifesting that. It's like, okay, well, I'm no longer tolerating this kind of behavior. And I'm no longer tolerating that kind of behavior. And I'm not doing these things or those things. Oh, and this either. And so when you push and move all that bullshit out of the way, all that mediocre shit, all that okey doke like yikes, you run into 
the geniuses, the, the, the positions in um, companies that you may not have gotten had just stayed at a dead end job, right? A new creative endeavor. You were, you know, working with others and then realized, I don't need to work with you all because I'm the one with the great ideas. I'm the artist. And you went on your own. And then things start to blossom for you because you don't have the dead weight holding you down. Right? It's like that. If this was relationships, it's meeting the same energy in different bodies until you said no more. What needs to change within me so that I don't keep um, accepting this? We're, right? We've all been there in one way, shape, form, or fashion. And so you manifested this by protecting your own peace and standing up for yourself, advocating for yourself. Some of you have a lawsuit. Um, this is a side note, but for some of you, there's a, some sort of lawsuit that's either you just started or you're at the tail ends of. Um, it's, going, it's going to work out. It's going in your favor. So I saw that here as well. It's another way I could take it. There's also going to be a new um, discovery to some kind of lawsuit or something that some kind of compensation for um, it's something about the ways that you were treated um, and something like that, Gemini. But that's not for everyone. That's for a small portion of you, whoever it resonates for. Um, you brought the proof. Yeah. It's not documented. Um, it can't be proven, but it looks like that you've gotten the documents. And I'm seeing that. It, it's showing me that with the justice, this, the just one way I'm seeing it. But that's not for everyone. That's just for some of you. It's a small portion of you, whoever it resonates for. So there's that. But you created this situation by not allowing bullshit or anything um, no peasantry near you, whether this is family, friends, work, business, finance, career, relationships. You're like, no, yikes, no. You um, hold yourself to such a high standard that people can't even hold you to their standard because what their standard is for themselves is actually lower than your standard is. So really, you'd be downgrading. You're like, yikes, no, see you later. I'm looking at a Gemini that can't be controlled either no matter how people may try something like that but you got bound you had boundaries up and you started living in your purpose moving this way right and you saw things from a new different direction it's like when you like being in a town and everyone that lives in this town and we all know each other right let's say this is a story and nobody in that town really gets any higher than like being like a manager because of where they decide to stay, right? That's just it. And everyone knows everyone. They're content in that um, environment, which is nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But you, Gemini, were like, I'm meant for more. I know that I'm meant for more. The, the normal is not really my status quo. I'm meant for more. And so you work diligently and you um, ended up leaving that. This is a story. Leaving that town. As soon as you set off and like, you know, moved with it, the next town was better because there was more opportunity because the town was bigger. It was a bigger city. There were more, um, the, the jobs were better. You had to be at a certain level to even get a position, right? It's like that. And so the quality of people are better when we choose to let go of the riffraff. I mean, and we it's our life, guys, and we only have one life. And so there's just times where it's like, no, I, I'm not putting up with this. I'm not dealing with this. Yikes, have fun with that. And whatever you left behind, Gemini, just know. It was a great decision because those people, places, and things, they're not going to be getting any higher than where they're at. And there's nothing wrong with that. People can live the lives that they want. You just wanted more for yourself and you knew that you had it in you to get for yourself. So that's that. Now, if it's a relationship, you moved out of what you used to um, find attractive or what you allowed and accepted more of, right? And um, once that, once you moved all those obstacles out of the way and went on the journey, you realized the world is bigger and there's more, the quality of people um, we find um, are, um, 
on your level. Because there is a thing, Gemini, when, you, when you're evolved, as you are in Gemini, and when you're spiritual, spiritual, evolved, uh, chosen ones, I mean, you're, you're at some level spiritual and evolved because you're, not, you're watching this, right? Unless you're a cross watcher that's watching this not for yourself, you could be unevolved. But for the most part, my collective, my Geminis, um, are evolved. We're on the same level or higher, just how it is, right? Now, when you're spiritual and you're highly evolved, it's not like real sees real. Real sees everything. Real sees passive aggressive. Real sees fake. Real sees the insecurities. Real sees the projections, the deflection, the avoidance. Real sees the manipulation. On the contrary, real also sees the evolved, the people that have put in the work to themselves, the, the ones that are not manipulators, right? Um, but everyone wants to be connected to somebody that's put in the work, somebody that's evolved, somebody that's going places. So you're going to attract everything, not just the evolved, you're going to attract the unevolved too, and the ones that pretend that they're evolved, but they're really nothing more than, um, well, I don't want to make fun of them, so well, I'll take the high road on that, but you know what I mean. Lights come on, the cockroach scatter, like that, yeah. Um, but so you found a way to, to understand what you're dealing with at all times and all areas of your life. And now you're at a point where you, you're getting what is your wish emotionally, what that was for you. You sought out what you wanted because you already had everything that you needed. That shows me you had everything that you needed with the Ten of Cups, but also the Ten of Pentacles. You are emotionally sound and financially secure. Some of you are like, you only work because you want to. You don't have to. You choose to, right? And if people irk your soul, they got to go. Others of you, um, this is something coming in on a financial, like real good success coming in. Um, or, or it could be that lawsuit that I was talking about. Right? You have happiness. You were waiting for one specific thing, though. And that's what's here. And Spirit wants you to not worry about it and to get out of your head. Because what you were searching for was searching for you. You just had to find it, each of you, right? Whether it's person, place, or thing, in whatever area of your life. That's what I have for you, Gemini. And this was a good reading. You just need to get out of your head. Get out, I'm hearing right now, get out of your head and get more into your heart. That's what I'm hearing right now. So, and that's a channel message. But remember, Gemini, what I said. Highly evolved, spiritual, and real people, You real sees everything. And people always want to attach themselves to a light because they want to suck that light out of you and use it for their own sick satisfaction or to fill themselves up with the goodness that you exude. You know, some people also like to take your energy and then um, play it off as it's their own. It, it's really diabolical, really. And what really diabolical, really. Devil. And once you free yourself from that... The sun. I mean, it can't get any clearer than that. Oh, and look what fell in the middle. Okay, so let's pull that. Right, we have the sun here. The devil here. And this was like, came out. So once you come out of, once you understand that dark people are fucked up, they can get fucked. Because you, thing is, is you can, um, your light disrupts people's demons. And, and um, but anyway, so there's that, right? You got rid of that bullshit, whatever the fuck that was. People are trying to leech onto you, ew, gross, right there, trying to destroy you because you are whole and complete, and you are um, you take accountability for yourself. You don't make lame excuses, and you can't be around people that do because they're all the same. And it's like they won't understand. Oh, this might be. You might also be might have been dealing with people outside of your intellectual IQ. People that are 15 or more points of, um, apart in IQ, you're not going to get along because they won't understand you. You'll understand them, but they can't understand you because they're not there yet. Or I don't know if they ever will be. Their intellect isn't, that, isn't there. And then what happens is 
projection, deflection, avoidance, their dark side comes out, and, uh, their envy comes out, right? And in all different ways, their insecurities, the pettiness, um, loyalty ties, it's really gross, but you freed yourself from whatever that was. Now, I don't bring things up for no reason. So if I'm speaking on this, it's because there's a Gemini out there at, um, has you dealt with this shit, right? Kept you in your head, more Gemini energy. It's like it was too much on your mental. Once you got rid of that, it was like bright times ahead. It went from doom and gloom to happiness. Why? Because the common denominator was others being around you that weren't worthy. Let's be real. And you wanted them to be worthy, but they just weren't. So you had to like put an end to it. There's no hate. There's no, um, there's no, there's nothing wrong with that. When we work on ourselves and when we're at a certain level of intelligence, we only want to be around people that are like that too. People that are successful stay successful because they surround themselves with other people that are successful and not envious. So you keep growing. Same thing in relationships. You want to be on the same level intellectually because how are you going to have a conversation with someone that is not mentally stimulating? Like what? Or you're carrying the conversation all the time or you're the one having to do all the thinking right now. No, no. Yeah, and then there's love here too. That's what happened. Once you pushed away all the other bullshit, for some of you, you found this love in yourself. For others of you, this is someone else. Keep going, Gemini, because the days of being doom and gloom because you were around others who were that way, so it's like, you know, sometimes when we're highly intelligent, right, We there's not many of us, guys. Not, it's not like there's a ton of geniuses out there. There's a good amount of us, sure. But we have to surround ourselves with the people that are like us so that we can, we all spread the goodness and the light and the intellect, right? We're all at that level. So no matter where, whether you're giving and you're, or receiving, it's all good, Come, right? It's, it's just, why do you think millionaires and billionaires hang out with each other? They don't have anything in common with pe uh, people that um, aren't on their level, right? And I'm not saying the heiresses and things like that. Um, I'm saying people that have earned it, right? Um, people that have their own business. Um, you know, you're, you would have a lot of people that will try to take you down in life because they themselves are miserable. And they're like, let me kick this one down a peg. He or she loves themselves too much. Oh, God. She's so conceited. He's so conceited. It's like, no, no, and no. You've been through more than most people could fathom, and you overcame it. If they went through one sixteenth of what you went through, Gemini, they'd crumble and cry like they do when you bring up the truth. Something like that. Um, that's what I'm getting from you, Gemini. You, you, you're at like, there's something that's happening that's so good that it's hard for you to believe it. And, you know, you're wondering when the next shoe is going to drop. It's not going to, Gems. Because you made it. You're here. You're, you keep coming out with the swords. What do you mean? Spirit wants you to think about this. Think about what you've overcome. The devil. Can you imagine some people actually being proud that they're dark? Yikes. Huh. How disgusting. But it's people on that level. They look up to stuff like that because they themselves are that way and they strive to be negative. Ew, that's gross. But they don't see it. They're so warped. Yikes. You thought hard about it and you, and you cut the bonds that were binding you and you moved on. And then you waited to receive what the energy that you were putting out as you were continuing to move forward. Now I'm seeing dollar signs. I'm seeing celebration. I'm also seeing a book. Um, they're showing me pictures of writing. So some of you might be writing a book. And I'm, I'm seeing that document again, the gavel. Some of you are in a lawsuit or you just started a lawsuit or there's something financial coming to you from that. And that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope that this reading resonated. Please hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe. Bye, Gems.